Welcome back to another production of Park TV 16 Sports. And if you're with us tonight, you are in for a treat. The intensity at Bloomington Ice Gardens is beyond the beyond. I'm Robert Christensen, and we're bringing you Vanille St. Margaret's against Edina in the Section 6 AA semifinal, and it might as well be the state tournament, quite honestly. Edina and Benilde taking on each other. This place is packed. You couldn't find a place to park, and the intensity is awesome. Glad you're with us, and we're about to start. McElroy in goal for fourth Benilde with a goals against average 2.22. There he is. He's got his work cut out. Both these teams played each other game one way back in November. And Edina got the best. And there is the goaltender for Edina. That is Robbie Tchaikovsky. And we're underway here. The Red Knights in red. Edina in their gold and white as usual. And this place is packed. The intensity is huge. Again, glad you're with us. Face off underway. 6AA going to the final next week. Puck in center zone, played by number six, Eddie Rivant. No, excuse me, number six, Mason Stenger for the Red Knights. As they have control of the puck early on. Into the corner, number 27, Ryan Baird. Benilde off to a good start, keeping the puck in the zone. Here's a chance for number six, Mason Stenger. Puck goes into the corner. Stenger along the near boards. Centering pass goes to the wayside on the far boards. Benilde still controlling number 10. Stewart right in front. Puck played behind the net. Red Knights really controlling the puck early on and now it goes back to center ice. Coming off the bench, number 14 was Gavin Reed. Now back into the Edina zone. Just underway here at the Bloomington Ice Gardens. Glad you're with us. Now here comes Edina's number 10. That is John Halverson into the slot. Puck loose in front. And here come the Red Knights, number five. Mays, no, that's Masio Phillips into the corner. Fighting for the puck with number six, Eddie Ravenio. Now in the zone. Red Knights keep it in behind the net and a whistle away from the play. There's a stick loose on the ice. As we look at the Edina kids, all in white. Whistle and a face off. It looks like it's gonna be, I'm not sure where it's gonna be. I'm looking at the referee at center ice. No penalty called there, but a face off is gonna be to the left of Klarkowski. Just underway here, no shots on goal. 15 28 to go. We're in period number one. Bloomington Ice Gardens face off to the left. Controlled by Edina along the far boards. That's number 19, Westberg. Now Benilde with it. Intercepted by number 19, that is Berg, excuse me, number 19 for Edina, Grant Olson. And now out to neutral ice by number 14, that is Gavin Reed. Now picked up by number 12 as he goes down, that is Lucas Cole. And he shoots the puck, they wave off icing, now behind the net for Benilde. Play it along the near boards and they break out nicely into neutral ice. Well done and he gets hit hard. That was number 23 for Benil Geertsen. And here comes Edina, number six with it. Mace, excuse me, Eddie Rabinho. Played in by Edina, now Benil trying to break out. Kept in on the far side by number 21, Bobby Cowan. Still no shots on net. Here comes Benilde as they break out of the neutral ice. Picked up now, they bring it in. No offsides, quick slap shot taken by number 11 for the Benilde St. Margaret's Cameron Kirshner. Now Edina now has it at neutral ice. They play it into the zone and nice job by the Red Knights, number 11 again, Kirshner. 
Over to the far boards, off, and now the Red Knights will change on the fly. Here come Isdina into the far zone, and they wave off the icing as number nine for the Hornets. Mason West was able to get his stick on the puck just enough to wave off the icing. Now back at center ice, here come the Red Knights to the right side. They got a two on two break. Quick wrist shot from the far side and the puck ends up in the goal crease and it's smothered by Robbie Tarkowski with 13.21 to go, stops the clock. They don't call that a shot on net. At least they're not keeping track on the scoreboard here, so it may have been. Nevertheless, face off to the left of Clarkowski. No score early on. Winner moves on, losers go home. Look at the crowd here, everyone on their feet all around here. Just driving up to Bloomington Ice Gardens, you could feel the intensity. Here comes Edina at neutral ice. Number seven with it, that is Caden Morgan. Now behind the net as they fight for, for possession. Along the near boards. Kept in nicely by number six, Eddie Ravinio. Vanille, oh, kept in nicely just at the last second there and he gives a shove there. Number 17 for Edina, doing a nice job. That was Matt Vandervert. Now into the far side. Look at the hit there. I don't know if that was on the camera. Big time shot there. Now Edina goes down. Puck still loose at neutral ice. Backhanded pass to number 23, Geertsen for Benilde. Plays along the far boards. Kept in on the far side by number three, Mason Miner. Now Edina kept in again by Miner. Chance for number 21. Norris, his shot goes to the wayside. Rebound, kept in on the far side. Nice shot by the Red Knights, keeping it in. At the point, quick wrist shot blocked in front by number six, Stenger. Another shot goes wide right. Rebound to the far side, picked up by number three. Miner, in front of the goal! Red Knights score! That goal comes with 11.43 to go, first period. Look at the replay. Rebound goes to the far side off the board. Stenger comes in, plays the backhand, centers the pass, deflection, and right there at the doorstep, the Red Knights get the goal. And they are off to a great start. You can feel how they were playing. They were controlling the puck. Here's our corner camera right in front. And the captain gets the goal. one nothing Red Knights. They lost early on in the season to Edina. They're up one nothing. Here's the official scoring play. Geertsen with the goal. Geertsen from Ristow and Miner. One nothing Red Knights. Puck at neutral ice. Edina now brings it into the zone. Number 21, Bobby Chowan. And we got a whistle and a penalty. Gonna come up against the Red Knights. Trip is the call. And there's a conversation between the referee and number six. Stinger, the junior, disagreeing with the call. First power play opportunity for either team. Two minutes on the board, 11.02 to go. Face off to the left. Of McElroy, we'll see what happens here. Here's the penalty. Tripping is the call. Two minutes on the board. Edina with the first power play opportunity. Let's see if they can take advantage of it and tie it up. Now on the right side, number 17, Vandevert into the corner. At the point, number six, Revenig. 
Now back to number 17, Vandervert. Left side shot goes to the wayside. Picked up by number 11, Flaherty for Edina. Now along the right side boards, Vandervert. Cross pass along the far boards, played by number four, Barrett Dexheimer. Now behind the board. Edina controlling the puck, but no shots so far. Now a fake shot from right in front. Good defense by the Red Knights. So far, no shots. There's an attempted shot, goes wide right along the boards. Now in the slot, centering pass. Ooh, almost. Now into the near corner, puck comes, caroms out to the far side. Edina keeping it in the zone, but only 46 seconds left in the player advantage. Now we have a whistle. Some pushing back and forth. We'll see what the whistle is all about. Again, Edina on the power play for another 44 seconds. We have two corner cameras tonight. And that Edina player went down, and I'm not sure what he was doing there or how he fell. Can honestly say I've never quite seen that before. And the result is going to be a faceoff outside the zone. 44 seconds left in the player advantage for the Hornets. They bring it in. That's number seven, Morgan, for Edina. At the point, number 14, Sandman. Shot off the post and a goal. Edina ties it up on the power play with 9.33 to go. Number 21 gets the goal, Bobby Chowan. Right there, our corner camera showed it beautifully. Bobby Cowan, the junior forward. Here's the replay, the big slap shot, the rebound right in front in the goal, and that's what caused it. That shot from the point had so much power on it, and look at the Atina kids. Bring in the loyalty, all in white. 1-1 one, one our score, section 6 AA semifinal. Assists go to number 14, Sandven and Nevers. 1-1 one, one our score, 9.28 to go, period number one. We're just underway here on Park TV 16 Sports. Glad you're with us. Here's our corner camera face-off to the right of the Edina goaltender, Charkowski. Edina wins that face off quickly into the Red Knight zone. Now they take over on the far side, coming in, no numbers for Edina. Now number 14 with it, Reed. Behind the net to the near side, number 17. Caleb Koski right in the crease and smothering it is Klarkowski and now pushing and shoving. It's to be expected. There's a lot on the line for these kids. Coming right in. That was a great effort from the near side by Caleb Koski, but a great save by Robbie Klarkowski. Face off to Klarkowski's right, and he is a tall kid. His hips almost come up to the top of the horizontal crossbar. Face off to his right. 1-1 one, one our score, comes all the way out to neutral ice, picked up by number six. Mason Stenger, now Edina. Their number six, Eddie Rodnino, into the corner. And that's going to be an offside call that draws the whistle. 8.50 to go. And look at the intensity of these fans. There you can see there's not an empty seat in the house here at Bloomington Ice Gardens. And they're going to call the face off at center ice. 8.50 to go. Geertsen on the draw for the Red Knights, won by the Hornets as they shoot the puck back in behind the net. McElroy plays it to the far side. Now Geertsen. Nice job by the Red Knights, nice pass over there, couldn't quite control it, back into the Hornets zone, now behind the net. Picked up by number six for the Hornets, Renovig. 
Intercepted, kept in by number 23, Geertsen. Geertsen now, centering pass, deflected along the far boards. The Knights keep it in the zone. Now into the near corner, number six, Ravenig. Puck into the Red Knight zone, picked up by number 28, Nick Palmer, the junior defenseman. Clearing pass almost intercepted by number 11, Flaherty, as they force the puck back into the Red Knight zone. Now at neutral ice, picked up by number 14, Sandman. Sandman brings it in, quick wrist shot, deflected in front and smothered by McElroy. And he stops the clock with 7.39 to go. Hornets putting on the pressure there. As we look at our corner camera, right there, McElroy makes the save and smartly smothers it. Face off to his left, 7.39 to go. Shots on goal, favor. Well, I'm not sure it favors, it's four to two. Now the Red Knights from behind the net. Number three, Miner. At neutral ice, into the corner, played by number 10, Drew Stewart. Now cleared by Edina, is number 21 on the far side. Bobby Cowan, he gets turned back, back into their zone. Still in their zone as they try to clear the puck. Now to the near side and a chance for number 11, Flaherty. Flaherty comes in, tough angle, shot on net, save, rebound. Puck goes to the far side, another shot from the left point. And McElroy scoops that up and stops the clock again. Good effort there by the Hornets. Right there, he kicked that to the left. Rebound, went out to the point, and then the shot right there. And smartly, McElroy holds on, forces the face off. 7.02 to go, quick moving first period. Glad you're with us here on Park TV 16 Sports. Our score, one to one. Winner moves on to the to the finals in 6AA. Into the corner, following the faceoff, controlled by Dinah, now picked up by number 14, that is Gavin Reed. Now back into the Dinah zone, played by number six, Eddie Renivig. And an offside, just barely. Draws a few groans from the Benilde St. Margaret's side of the arena. And there'll be a faceoff just outside the blue line. 6.45 to go, period number one. Faceoff controlled by the Red Knights. That's number 14 with it. Gavin Reed in and smothering it, scooping it up. Drawing the whistle. And there'll be a face-off to the right of Robbie Klarkowski. 6.38 to go. And you can see from that angle how packed it is at the Bloomington Ice Garden. All right, face-off controlled by Dinah's number four. That is Dexheimer. Gets it out to neutral ice. Running into some opposition, and now number 17 for Edina. That is Vandervert, gets it into the Benilde zone, but they take it over. Number 15 with it, that, well, I don't have a name for number 15. Quick wrist shot and deflected, and that drew a response from the crowd by number five. Maceo Phillips, right here, that's five, right there. Big kid, oh, he did have it eyed up, didn't he? But nice job by Tcharkowski, kicking that puck to the right. But he was looking at that angle right inside that left post. That'll draw a face off to Tcharkowski's right. 6.12 to go. Face off, controlled by Dinah's number four. Barrett Dexheimer. Out to the center ice, nice pass to number nine, West. West comes right in, and a goal on the rebound. It's gonna be credited, I believe, to number 21, Bobby Cowan on the rebound. But West made that play happen. He created the rebound, and Edina is up two to one. And they are feeling it. That's the replay right on the far side. Goodness. 
right in front. The shot was by number 10, Halverson, and the rebound. Results in a goal for Edina with six minutes to go. Two to one here, period number one. Red Knights got off to a good start. Goal goes to John Warpinski, the junior forward on the rebound. Puts the Hornets up two to one with 5.46 to go. Face off just outside the blue line. There was a semifinal prior to tonight's contest. Wyzetta won. The winner of this will take them on next week to go to the state tournament. Puck comes right in, and smartly, Klarkowski decides to let that go, draws the icing call. And that'll bring the puck all the way back into the Red Knight zone. 5.39 to go, period number one. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. Glad you're with us. Face off to the right of McElroy. 2-1 our score. Next goal is huge here. Face off and the referee is taking his time. This number 10, Drew Stewart. Going against number 21 for Edina, Bobby Cowan. Referee taking his time. Puck controlled by the Red Knights. All these face-offs matter. Quick shot. Deflected in front. Now Edina, or excuse me, the Red Knights come out on the far side, playing it into the Edina zone. Tarkowski lets it go to the near boards. Now in the corner. Coming away with it, Stewart, number 10. Wheels around, looking for someone to shoot it to. No one in front. Gets it over to the far point. Number three, Miner. Into the corner, Dinah tries to clear it, blocked on the near boards, coming right in is number 27, Baird. Red Knights doing a jo good job controlling the puck in the Edina zone, trying to get a good shot. Oh, and it comes out to neutralize. Played back in by Mason Stenger, and they'll regroup and change. Both teams will change on the fly. And now the pass, and that's gonna be an icing call inadvertent on the Hornets, and that'll bring the puck back into their zone. That stops the clock with 4.37 to go. And you can see it's a packed house here. Face off quickly now to Klarkowski's left. Puck controlled by Dinah's number seven, Caden Morgan, now out to neutral ice. Intercepted by the Red Knights, number 19, Westberg. Westberg plays it all the way behind. Dinah picks it up in their own zone, plays it out to neutral ice. Now into the Red Knights zone and picked up by number 17, Koski for the Red Knights. He plays it out to neutral ice. Intercepted by the Hornets. That's number 17, Vandervert. Stick is broken. At neutral ice, now into the corner behind the net, and McElroy into the far corner. Played by number 14, Gavin Reed. Now along the near boards, and out breaks it is number 19, Berg. Berg into the Edina zone, no offsides on the call. Picked up by Edina, centering pass. Quick shot, fanned on by number six, Stenger. Couldn't quite get his whole stick on it. He had a good opportunity there, just couldn't quite get the stick all the way on that puck. And now a whistle and an icing, I believe, is going to bring it all the way back into the Edina zone, much to their chagrin. There's McElroy taking a deep breath. As I mentioned early on, the intensity at Bloomington Ice Gardens is really good if you like intensity. All right. Two to one, our score, Edina's in front, 3.34 to go. Face off to Klarkowski's left. And I don't know what we're waiting for, a couple of substitutions. Not sure who's gonna take the draw. We do know for the Red Knights, it's Geertsen and number 12 for Edina, Lucas Cole. Puck controlled by the Red Knights, but they allow it to get back to neutral ice off the reset up. 
Now they bring it across the line. And nice poke check by Dinah's number 12, Cole. Now they played into the Red Knight zone, back behind the net, picked up by number three, Miner. Tries to clear it out, kept in on the far side by number 20, Mikey Mason. Clearing pass, deflected in front, brought back into the Red Knight zone. No offsides called, puck controlled by the Red Knights in the corner. Stick loose, puck right in front on Mason McElroy. He steers it away, and now here come the Red Knights on the fly. On the left side, number six, Stenger comes right in. And a whistle, that puck goes out of play. And there'll be a face-off to the left of Robbie Karkowski. Here's the replay, or no, that's the live shot right there. Nevertheless, face-off, 2.42 to go. It's gonna be the right of Karkowski. <laughs> Digging in, face-off. Controlled by the Hornets on the far side as they break out. 2.30 to go, period number one. On the far side, number 18, Nevers. At the blue line, played by the backhand, number six, Revenant. Red Knights try to break it out to number two. That is Carter Callen. Now the Hornets take over. Neutral ice pass to the near side to number 11, Flaherty. He gets turned back. Two minutes to go here, period number one. Along the near boards, off the boards, into the Red Knight zone, picked up by number 14, Gavin Reed. He tries to play it on the far side. They try to break it out. They get it to neutral ice. Now picked up by number 27, that is Baird. Now back in the Red Knight zone, flicked up by number 14, Reed. Now to the near side, along the boards. They wave off icing and offsides. Red Knights have an opportunity. They can keep it in the zone. And it comes out to neutral ice, picked up by number six, Stenger. He plays it back in, now back out to neutral ice, played by number 22, that is John Orpinski. Centering pass and wide open, but great defense by number 19 for the Red Knights. Westberg deflected that scoring opportunity because there was a wide open Hornet right in front of McElroy. Now back into the Hornet zone, quick shot from the near boards, went right across the crease, nice job by Klarkowski. One minute to go, right in front, quick shot, blocked by Klarkowski. Phillips had a chance and now we have a whistle. It may have been away from the play, the clock has stopped with 40, 53.2 seconds. Here's our corner camera, look at the rebound and the quick shot. And Klarkowski was there to make the save. And the clearing attempt by John Halverson. As we look at those Edina fans. Just coming down Highway 100 to the Bloomington Ice Gardens. Face off to Klarkowski's right. 52 seconds to go, our score two to one. Quick wrist shot. Mason Stenger tried to sneak one into that upper right hand corner right here. He saw the opening. You could see it from our camera angle, right? But there was Klarkowski to gather it in well. He is a big, tall kid out there. Face off, controlled by the Red Knights, but they weren't able to control it in the zone. 42 seconds to go. Now back out to neutral ice. Now Edina's number 21 plays it. That is Bobby Cowan. Now picked up by number 10, Stewart, for the Red Knights. Into the neutral zone. Now Edina back into the Red Knight zone. Cross pass, quick wrist shot by number 21, Cowan. And that was a great opportunity for Edina. And McElroy makes a good deflective save, but that's gonna bring a face off to his right with 19.8 seconds to go. Period number one. Glad you're with us here on Park TV 16 Sports. You saw the replay right there. We have two corner cameras. And you can see the fans, they are packed in in the background. Great atmosphere here. 
And we're gonna have a couple substitutions. Skating on, number 19 for the Red Knights, Wes Berg. Skating off, number 17, Caleb Koski. Face off to McElroy's left, 19.8 seconds to go. Neither team wants to give up a goal this late. Kept in nicely by the Hornets, number 14. Charlie Sandman, his shot goes into the corner. Hornets controlling the puck. Eight seconds to go, period number one. Puck comes out in the neutral ice with three seconds to go. Quick shot by number five, Maceo Phillips. And there is the sound of the end of period number one, our score after one. Two to one, Edina, come on back for period number two. Glad you're with us on Park TV 16 Sports. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. Yep, welcome back to Park TV 16 Sports. We're in between periods number one and two. As you can see on your screen, 6AA boys hockey semifinal. The Red Knights got off in front with the first goal, but then Edina answered with two of their own. And we're about to begin period number two. And if you're just joining us, the intensity at Bloomington Ice Garden is nothing like I've ever seen. This place is jam-packed. I'm glad you're with us watching on Park TV 16 Sports and we're about to begin period number two. And we've got two corner cameras bringing you all the action. In nets, Robbie Klarkowski had a good first period as he steered away six shots and McElroy cleared away nine and our score two to one after one winner moves on to the final Wyzetta beat holy angels earlier today right here at bloomington ice garden and we're about to begin look at the edina faithful all in white it's a white out on the far side bring in the energy red knights on the near side Face off in the middle ice, period number two. Our score, two to one. Stenger, number 10 for the face off. Drew Stewart for the Red Knights, controlled by Edina's number 14, Sandben. All on the near board. You get the feeling that the next goal is going to be huge, right? It's either going to be tied or a two goal lead for the Hornets. Now on the near side, number 27, Ryan Baird. Quick shot, goes wide right, hard off the back of the boards. Now in front, controlled by the Red Knights, now into the corner. Picked up by number 20, that is Mickey Mason. Now it breaks out, number 21 for the Hornets, Bobby Cowan into the Red Knights zone, now back out to neutral ice. Icing waved off, now into the corner, picked up by number six, Mason Stenger to the near boards across the line, but taken over by number seven, Caden Morgan for the Hornets. He shoots it into the far side and they're gonna call a whistle and an icing. He must have just let that go right before the center red line, but not by much. So a break for the Red Knights. They're gonna get a face off early in the second, 16.02 to go, there's our corner camera. Face off going to be taken by number 17, Caleb Koski for the Red Knights as they lean in. Two to one, our score. Winner moves on, loser ends their year. Along the near boards, kept in by the Red Knights, backhand nicely by Phillips. Now over the far corner, picked up by number nine for Edina West. He tries to clear it to the near boards and it comes out to neutralize. Then picked up by number 14, that is Gavin Reed. 
He plays it into the Hornets zone. Now picked up by number seven for the Hornets, Caden Morgan. Still kept in on the far boards by Caleb Koski. Koski centering pass, now right in front, quick wrist shot. Oh, the rebound was there for the taking. No one there to convert. Great shot, also a great save by Karkowski, but he put the rebound out there and no one was home for, to put it away. And now here comes Edina. Poke check right back in the Edina zone. Now they break out to neutralize. Number six, Revenig. Now the Red Knights at neutral ice, played by number 19, Grant Olsen. Parkowski plays it into the corner just in time. He goes down. No, oh, they're gonna call a whistle on Benilde, and that is gonna bring a controversy in the stands. People are standing up. Parkowski slow to get up. Let's see how bad was he. Oh my goodness. So there was an Edina player between that and it's gonna end up in a penalty on the Red Knights. You wonder about that because of the Hornet in between. And there are boos coming from the Red Knight zone and I can understand their objection, but the referee's rule, two minutes on the board, power play for Edina. Interference is going to be the call. Interference is the call. Koski, two minutes for interference. You can judge for yourself whether that was a fair penalty or not. Nevertheless, that's the rule. And the Hornets are on the power play with a 2-1 lead. 14-18 in the second period. They played in the Red Knight zone. McElroy hugging to that right post. Now they control. Number 18, Jackson Nevers. Far side now behind the net. Picked up by his number 18, Nevers again. He plays it back behind the net. Right in the slot, fanning on it. And picked up by number six for the Red Knights, Mason Stenger. And he'll dump it in the puck to kill the clock a little bit more as we approach one minute to go in the player advantage. 13.42 to go in period number two. Now coming in, stood up well there by number five, Maceo Phillips, and they shoot the puck right back into the Edina zone. 48 seconds to go in the player advantage. Now picked up by number 17, Vandervert. Cross rink pass to the far side, bringing it across the line, no offside. Played by number 10, Halverson, and the Red Knights Scoot it right back all the way down. Nice job on the penalty kill for the Red Knights. 24 seconds to go in the player advantage. 13.04 to go, period number two. They bring it across the line, number 17, Vandervert. Intercepted nicely by number 14, Gavin Reed. He brings out the neutral zone, taken right back by number 10, Halverson for Edina. He's got room, six seconds on the player advantage. They clear the puck and out of bounds. Behind the bench, stops the clock with 12.45 to go. Three seconds left in the player advantage. Nice job by the Red Knights on the penalty kill. Edina did not get very many, if any, clear shots on net. And they've got to feel good about that. However, they are down two to one. Face off now to McElroy's left. Three seconds on the player advantage. Watch the player coming out of the box right now. That's the number 17, Koski. Now Puck played in the near boards, cleared out to neutral ice all the way down, and that's gonna be an icing on the Red Knights. That stops the clock with 12.34 to go. As we look at the Edina students and the Red Knight bench, the Red Knights a little bit more on pins and needles there, aren't they? They are the underdog. Face off, there's our corner camera. Controlled by the Red Knights, number 21. That is Norris, back behind the net. Picked up by Phillips. Stenger. And that goes all the way down, and it would have been icing, except it was right on goal, and now he smothers the puck, and a nice job if you're a Red Knight fan. They forced a face-off in the Edina zone. 
This is the witching hour here, middle of the second period, right? Two to one, our score. It was all out offense in period number one, but now, this is sort of a lot of play at neutral ice. No shots on goal to speak of, although they are tied at nine. Face off now to Klarkowski's left. Geertsen gets the toss. Now face off controlled by Dinah's number six, Revenig. Along the near board to neutral ice, played back into the Dinah zone by Mason Stenger. Klarkowski leaves it for number four. Dexheimer, he brings it in across the far, and that's gonna be an offside call. Whistle stops the clock at 11.58 to go, and they're gonna bring it down. They're gonna call it icing, not offside. And another break for the Red Knights. There is our other corner camera. Gotta love that angle. Look at the crowd behind, the kids in Edina all in white. And they're gonna kick out Halverson. Last face off in that corner that kicked out the Red Knight. You wonder that just wasn't like fair to both sides. Not sure what he did to deserve to get kicked out, but nevertheless, here comes Edina's number 10 with the shot hard behind the net. Now along the near boards, played by number two, that is Callen. Callen, played in by the right side, that's number nine, Mason West. Now number 14 is Reed. Geertsen, near boards, good enough pass to bring it into the zone by number 21, Benjamin Norris. Now behind the net, centering pass, and just cleared away in time by number 14, Sandman. Now right in front, Puck smothered, pushing and shoving. You think these kids don't care? Of course they do. Here is the replay in the corner and a golden opportunity for the Red Knights right there in front. And Klarkowski wisely smothers the puck. Face off will be to his right. And then a little bit of uh, pleasantries exchange, I should say, between Edina and Benil. All in good fun. 11.18 to go on the clock. 11 shots for Benil. Nine for the Red Knights. They control the puck at the point. Number six, Stenger. Shot right in front. Now behind the net, played by number 11, Kirshner. Red Knights looking for an opportunity here to tie it up early in the second. Now coming in behind the net, looking, looking, looking. No one there, plays it against the back of the net. Good defense by number 18 for the Hornets. Never, as he goes down. Whistle blows, clock is stopped, and they're gonna call tripping on the Red Knights. Here is the replay. Looking, see, he had no one to throw it to. He had to get rid of it. Nevers hits him, and then the trip right there. Good call by the officials. I can't disagree with it. Power play opportunity for Edina. Two minutes on the board in the box. Drew Stewart for tripping. 10.51 to go, period number two. Face off, controlled by the Red Knights. Maceo Phillips clears it all the way to neutral ice. Now to the near side. Number 14, San Van. Now here come the Hornets. They have a golden opportunity to kick a commanding two goal lead and now we have a whistle after that shot on net as McElroy kicks it to the right side. That stops the clock with 10. 37 to go, 146 to go in the player advantage. Face off to McElroy's right. Waiting there for the center, face off. Bobby Cowan, the junior forward. Face off controlled by the Hornets at the point. Number 14, Sandvin. Now, Sandvin to the near side. One timer taken by 18, Nevers goes wide right. Didn't miss by much. And now it's cleared by the Red Knights. One. 28 to go in the player advantage. 10, 15 to go in period number two. Now, scooting in quickly was Nevers, and he gets thrown off the puck. Lost control of his speed, and the Red Knights took advantage and kicked the puck all the way back down into the zone. There's our corner camera to document it. 
Sand then now will break it out with 106 to go in their player advantage. Now bringing it again, coming right in on McElroy, and they had a golden opportunity right there as Cowan came in, couldn't quite convert. Puck loose, stick loose. Now Puck in the front, cleared nicely by number 19. That is Berg. 45 seconds to go in the player advantage. Nine and a half to go, period number two. Hornets bringing it on the far board. Number 10, that is Halverson. He's got goal number one tonight. Now at the point, number six, Renovig. Oh, and that's out. They're going to have to regroup. That comes with 23 seconds to go in the player advantage. 9, 11 to go. Period number two. Bringing on the far side, number four, Dexheimer. Puck loose in the slot, cleared nicely by the Red Knights with 11 seconds to go in the player advantage. Udina has one last chance to do a rush with the player advantage. Comes all the way into the near side. Number six, and now a whistle. And I didn't see what that was as we look at the fans. Thoroughly enjoying themselves. I mean, this is the best hockey you can ever see. And there's a kid mugging for the camera. Good for him. Why not? Face off now to McElroy's right. Comes with 8.54 to go. Period number two. Four seconds to go in the player advantage. Udana has a chance here. They got to look out for the player in the penalty box. If he, Benil can control it, they just get him. And now he comes out short. And now a whistle stops the clock. 8.47, and there's going to be a face-off just outside the blue line. Both teams now at full strength. No score, no scoring in the second period. We we're 2-1 to one after one. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Midway through period number two, Stewart to take the draw against the Dinah's number 18, Jackson Nevers. Controlled by the Red Knights now into the corner. And behind the net, played by number 20, Mickey Mason. He brings it to the near boards, skating it out nicely. Bobby Cowan now intercepted by number three, Miner. Miner comes in, oh, and fanning on the pass to the far side. Baird had a golden opportunity, couldn't quite convert. Now here come the Hornets on the other end. 18 Nevers comes in. He gets the puck poke checked off his stick. Now on the far side, playing out to neutralize. It will be icing unless they get there, and they do. Stewart saved the icing whistle. Puck still loose, and now a whistle stops the clock. I'm not exactly sure why, but they're going to bring it. Where are they going to have the face off? And I'm not real clear on why that whistle was blown. But here is this replay right in the slot. Great camera work there as Bobby Cowan had a great opportunity, but that puck was bouncing just enough. All right, face off outside the blue line. 8.06 to go, period number two. Puck controlled by the Red Knights, shot in on the far side by Carter Kalon. Now along the near boards on the rebound, brought up by Dinah. Shot right back in by Maceo Phillips. Phillips now will chase it along the near boards and it comes to the near side. Phillips puts a check on Edina. Now picked up by number 14, Gavin Reed. Now to the near boards. Number 17, Koski plays into the zone. Koski to Phillips. Phillips, quick wrist shot. Took a weird carom and went just to the right of Parkowski now picked up by Dinah's number seven, Morgan. Morgan now, Morgan still with it at neutralized with plenty of room. Comes across the line and a whistle stops the clock with 7.19 to go. We got a good look from our corner camera at number 35, Mason McElroy. Here's the replay and it went out of bounds and that that's what, I'm not sure what drew the face off, but that's what we have on the left side to McElroy. Oh, okay. So now, controlled by the Red Knights on the far side. Great pass right on the stick. Edina are there on defense, though. Well played hockey game. Now in the slot, a quick shot. Tarkowski makes a great save, and he anticipated. He moved his body over and made that save, but that was a great opportunity for the Red Knights. Also a great save by Tarkowski. He saw it coming, he moved over, 
Oh, and look, another great save. Another rebound goes wide left, barely. Now rebound out to center ice. Backhand pass, tried to get it to number 21, Norris. And Benil takes over. It's free flying hockey now, and a chance for the Red Knights. And nice defense by number 20, Mason. And you can see Geertsen, or that was number 18 on the left side. He knew he had a great opportunity. Michael Risto, right here. And what was brilliant about that defense was Klarkowski was already moved his body over, so he had great anticipation and was ready for that shot. And now on the other end, face off now to Klarkowski's right, controlled in the corner. 6.23 to go. Stewart, oh, he fans on it. Good defense now picked up by the Hornets, Bobby Cowan. Cowan now into the Red Knight zone. Behind McElroy. Now at the point, kept in nicely by 21, Bobby Cowan. Played behind in the corner by Nevers. Nevers, Stewart trying to fight the puck for him, but the Dino Horns keeping in the zone. They lead two to one with 5.54 to go. Both teams at full strength. Edina has not been called on a penalty. They've had two power play opportunities. Quick wrist shot deflected in front. Puck loose at neutral ice. Picked up by Edina's number seven, Morgan. Morgan shoots it in and a whistle will stop the clock with 5.38 to go. Good clean game for the most part. There's only been two penalties. Nothing outrageous. Great hockey game here, folks. Glad you're with us. Face off just outside the line with 5.37 to go. Punched back into the Benilde zone by number six, Rev Revenig. Now number 17 is Koski. Koski plays in the Dyna zone, comes right back out to the neutral ice. Now number 22, Warpinski plays it in and that's gonna be an offside or an icing call. And it's icing. That stops the clock at 5.15 to go. And according to the scoreboard, 11 shots on net for Edina, 14 for the Red Knights. But they're down two to one. That's the stat that matters. Nearing the end, and Klarkowski makes a nice job with that left-handed mitt. He's not gonna let that puck bounce around. Smart move by Klarkowski as he centers himself there. I think you gotta have a little bit of a zen mentality to play goaltender in hockey, and he is demonstrating it there right now. Face off to his left. Controlled by the Red Knights, at least momentarily. Puck still in their zone. Picked up by number 17, Vandervert. Now at neutral ice, almost intercepted by number six, Stinger. Now here come the Hornets, right into the slot. Quick shot, McElroy saves it. Kicks it into the far corner. Now the Red Knights control. Board off, now Phillips. He's got room. Backhanded pass and just offside, they blow the whistle and that looks like a great opportunity if you're a Red Knight fans. Right here, you judge for your... <gasps> Is that offside? I don't know. Just by a tad. So face off outside the blue line, clock stop, 4.42 to go. Second period, season on the line for both these teams. Now in to take the draw. Geertsen for the Red Knights against number nine. Mason West for the Hornets. They control. Back in the corner, number four. Dexheimer brings it out to neutral ice. Played right back into the neutral zone by 28. Nick Palmer for the Red Knights. Now played by number six, Revenig. I know I was switching his name earlier, but I think I have it down now. Now. Near board, picked up by number 18, Rousteau. Far side. Puckle on the board, still lose. Red Knights control it to the near side. That's number 21, Norris. Norris coming in across the line. Good poke check there by number six, Revenig. 
Now back into the Red Knight zone. Played by number 28, Palmer. Now the near boards, that's number six, Stinger. Stinger comes in, plays behind Klarkowski for the Dyna goalie. 3.39 to go, period number two. Shot right on net, rebound, tried to be controlled by Palmer. Now he comes up with a quick wrist shot and Klarkowski right spot on. Number one for Edina. That kid is playing really well in goal. Look how big he is for a goaltender. So tall, playing very well. Face off to his left, 3.30 to go. 2-1 our score. Winner moves on to the final against Wyzetta. State tournament is the overall goal in two weeks. Quick shot by number 27, Baird. Korkowski right there, Johnny on the spot. Now, puck played back into the Red Knight zone. Backhanded pass attempted by 21, Cowan. Now back into the Hornet zone. That's number 11 for the Red Knights. Cameron Kirshner, the sophomore forward. And now the puck comes all the way back, and that's going to be an icing call on Dinah. That stops the clock with 2.57 to go. Our score, 2-1. to one. As we near the end of period number two, shots on goal favor the Red Knights, but they're down in the scoring column. Face off now to Klarkowski's right. You can see him checking those posts. He is a tall kid. Never seen a kid play that tall, playing goaltender. Incredible. Now on the near side. Red Knights with it. Number five, Phillips. Now Phillips breaks out to the near side. That's number 19, Westberg. He plays it behind the net, keeping it in. Centering pass, no one there except Edina's Katie Morgan, and he clears it out for Edina all the way back into the Red Knight zone. Playing it for the Hornets, Matt Vandervert. He gets the puck taken away by Maceo Phillips. Phillips now. Phillips has played well, been mentioning his name all night. Now, nice backhand pass, gets skated off. Great defense also by the Hornets. Both teams played really well there. That was a great offensive move, but there were two Hornets there to skate him off the puck. But great entertaining hockey, and now McElroy makes that save. That stops the clock with 2.04 to go. Period number two. <laughs> Look at the referee. And it's really quiet in this arena. You know, when we got here early on, the intensity, and the intensity is still here, but this is sort of like the in-between time. I think period number three is going to be huge. Hope you stay with us. It's going to be great entertaining hockey. And that's an icing call quickly called on the Red Knights. 158 to go. And as much action-packed period number one was, period number three is going to be huge. All right, face off to McElroy's left. 158 to go. Stewart for the draw for the Red Knights against number 18, Nevers. Referee, oh, so I don't even know what's going on there. Why would he, you know, I didn't play high school hockey, I played basketball, but I know hockey a little bit enough, and I don't understand why they kicked him out. All right, now Stewart, centering pass. Now, on the far side, nice pass in there, number 11, Flaherty. And a whistle and an offside. So right, yeah, he way offsides, number 18, right? Nevers. So face off just outside the blue line, 143 to go, period number two. And the Red Knights control, number 11, Cameron Kirshner on the near side to 27, Baird. Baird now behind the net, chance for number 14, Gavin Reed, if he can find someone in front. Now cleared by Dinah's number 11, Ryan Flaherty, right in on McElroy, and he decides to hold on to it. And that stops the clock with 
17 to go. 2-1 our score. Here's our corner camera angle. Tried to go short side on McElroy, but McElroy was ready for it. Makes that save. Shots on net, 18 to 13. Favor the Red Knights. Face off to McElroy's right. Controlled by Edina's number 10 right in the middle. Halverson, and he takes a hit. Doesn't go all the way down. Puck still mired in the Red Knight zone. They do break it out. Cross rink pass to Phillips. Phillips brings across the line. Tries a wrist shot. Fans on it slightly. One minute to go. Period number two. Tipped in on the far point by number 14. Gavin Reed. Now behind the net. Picked up by Dinah's number 10, Halverson. Halverson breaks it out across the line in the neutral zone. And it's intercepted, poke check by Mason Miner. Miner now comes in, surrounded by Hornets. Quick return shot, kind of like a give and go in basketball. 37 seconds to go. And there's gonna be a penalty. On, is it gonna be on the Hornets? It might be. Let's see, here's the replay from our corner camera. Puck comes into the near zone. The Red Knight went down, and number 22 is going to be in the cooler, Raw John Morpinski, but I'm not sure what that was for, to be honest. That looked like a clean play to me. Nevertheless, it's the first power play opportunity for the Red Knights. It comes with 35 and a half seconds to go. Interference with the call there. I respectfully disagree with that. Not quite sure what that was, but nevertheless, the Red Knights have a player advantage. Their first one of the night. 152 in the player advantage. 27 and a half seconds to go. We look at the face-off opportunity there for Westberg going against number 17, Vandervert for Edina. Puck now controlled behind and all the way out. That's gonna be good for Edina. That might end the period. The Red Knights might have one chance here before, but they're gonna be on the power play unless they score right now to begin period number three. And the Red, the Hornets throw it down and that's gonna cover it with three seconds to go. You're gonna hear the buzzer right there. And that is our conclusion of period number two. Our score after two complete in the six AA semifinal. Hornets two, Red Knights one. Come on back for period number three. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I know, I heard, I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Sports, there's our camera, the corner camera. If you're just joining us, you're in for a treat. Wherever you're watching, this is Minnesota high school boys hockey. It doesn't get better than this anywhere on the planet. We're at Bloomington Ice Gardens. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. I'm Robert Christensen, glad you're with us. Two to one our score. The winner moves on to the finals against Wyzetta, six double A. And of course, the winner of that game gets to go to the XL Energy Center in St. Paul in two weeks. Now, picking up the puck down, two to one, quick shot. Some people thought that was a goal, and I don't blame them. It certainly looked like it to me. I thought I saw that net go up, but it did not. Red Knights, though, they know they need to get that. I feel right now the next goal wins. If Edina gets that, it's gonna be very tough for the Red Knights there, and I'm sure they know that as well. As they regroup on the near side, that is number six for the Red Knights, Stinger, and now the puck all the way back to McElroy, and they'll regroup. And remember, they're on the power play, 30 seconds to go. If they can get a goal here, it's game on for the rest of the way. Now on the near boards, 
kept in by 19, Berg. Berg does another, no, that was number 18 this time, keeping it in, Risto. Now Stewart, quick wrist shot, and Klarkowski right there, Johnny on the spot with the save. And here is our corner camera. Look at that wrist shot right on the mark. But Klarkowski, I don't know how tall he is, but I'm sure the Edina basketball coach would love him on his team. And he is a really good goaltender and he is proving it tonight, only allowing one goal on 20 shots and now another shot gets deflected, stops the clock. 15, 36 to go, one second left in the player advantage. So the Red Knights will have the player advantage with the faceoff. But along the near side, number 22, John Warpinski ready to come out. And if that puck comes out towards Edina, he could be loose. But they won the, oh, and my goodness, they won the faceoff, 21, Norris. And they couldn't quite cover it in the zone. Miner wasn't quite in position. Now both teams at full strength with 15, 21 to go, period number three. Puck behind the net, kept in by Edina. Shot deflected in front. Pass from number four, Dexheimer to number seven, Morgan. Now here come the Red Knights. Nifty pass to the right side. Shot from a tough angle behind the net. Now to the near boards. Kept in, now picked up by number four, Dexheimer. Cross rink pass, this is the mark. Is that gonna be icing? And it is, and that will stop the clock with 14.54 to go. Replay right here, look at that shot that we thought was in. And you know, you saw the net kind of billow. It hit the side of it. And that's what fooled us. And there were some fans. And my vantage point is exactly what your view is from the camera. That's where I'm standing. And that's what it looked like to me. Face off, though, to Klarkowski's left. 14.54 to go. 2-1 our score. Great match here. Where else would you rather be in Minnesota than watching high school hockey playoff style? Now, Red Knights control the face off, but nice job by Jackson Nevers. He steals that puck, comes in in the zone. Quick wrist shot, wide left, hard along the boards behind. Kept in by number 14, Sandvin. Now the rebound out to neutral ice, and quickly the Red Knights are right back in. Cross wing pass right across the goal crease, and it caroms all the way back out to neutral ice. Picked up by Gavin Reed. Now along the near boards. Played by 21 for Edina, Bobby Cowan. Now the Red Knights control. They're holding their own. These two teams played early on the first game. Edina got the best of the Red Knights, but they have not seen each other since. And it is a tight game. Now Stewart, wrist shot. Goes wide left, Caroms. Now that's going to be icing and off the net. That was a heck of a shot. That was from their own blue line. Here's this replay, Stewart, rebound. And he almost got his own rebound there. Oh, look at these kids enjoying their time here at the game. Corner camera angle, face off to the right of Klarkowski. 14 minutes to go exactly. Third period, 2-1 our score. Face off to the near boards, controlled by Dinah, at least momentarily. They come out, poke check there by number 19, Berg. Now the near boards, Maceo Phillips almost had a chance in the slot. Puck eludes him to the near boards, kept in with the skate by number six, Stinger. And a quick shot and a save by Klarkowski. That puck comes right across the goal mouth. No one there for the Red Knights to convert. Now in the boards, Red Knights controlling the possession here early in period number three. They're down two to one. Now out to the point, cross rink, back into the neutral zone, picked up by Mason Miner. Now across the zone, they wave off offsides. It was very close. Nevertheless, puck into the Edina zone. Red Knights controlling early on as we approach 13 minutes to go, period number three. And now trying to grab it and all the way down, no icing on that. Number 17 for the Red Knights, tried to get it with his glove. Koski couldn't quite keep it in the zone, but here come the Red Knights back. Oh, a misstep there. 
Puck lost, now loose at neutral ice, back into the Red Knight zone. 22 shots for the Red Knights, they have almost doubled. Now a quick wrist shot, and that got all the way through the melee to McElroy, he made the save. Stick loose on the puck, on the ice I should say. Now loose, right in front, quick wrist shot, and look at the glove save by McElroy. And that was destined for the back of the net. His biggest save of the night, maybe in his career, right here. Bang. That is suitable for framing right there for Mason McElroy. He stretched left. Here's that replay again, the quick wrist shot. He was leaning right, folks, and he was able to have the wherewithal to come back left. He might need some ice on what muscles were stretched there, but great athletic play by McElroy, keeping his team in two to one with 12, 12 to go. They try to break it out now into the neutral ice, kept back in. Now backhanded by number 12, Lucas Cole. Now behind the net, into the corner now, kept right in front, golden opportunity and a goal. Number 14, Charlie Sandman was left wide open in front of the net and he drilled it home right here. Came right in, wide open all alone. 3-1 Edina, and that was a good goal. Here's the replay, came right out to him, no body on him, right in front. McElroy was screened just enough didn't see the puck, and he went to the left side, waist high. And now Edina's got to be filling it, and that's an offside. That stops the clock at 11.54. So I was listening to some hockey commentators. I think I was watching the Wild game, and they showed the worst goal lead in hockey is a two-goal lead. So that's where we're at. So if you're a Red Knight fan, that's got to give you a little bit of hop in your step. But. They are running out of time now. Edina into the zone, intercepted by Benil. Now back into the corner. Stewart with it on the near board, throws it into the Edina zone, now back behind the net. Played by number seven, that is Morgan for Edina, and now back out to the trice. And let's see if that's gonna change the style of Edina, if they're gonna become a more defensive team here with a two goal lead with only 11 and a half minutes to go. They've played great defensive hockey all night and they may become more defensive now. Now, coming into the slot and Roy is gonna go to the backhand, number three, Miner. And it got poke checked off his stick just in time by the Hornets. Now on the far side. You know, you, the Red Knights have dominated puck possession, it feels to me. The shots on goal reflect that. They just have not been able to penetrate Klarkowski enough. But now they really need a goal to make this a match. Now here comes Edina's Nevers, number 18. Junior captain right in. That was a hard shot. You can hear it against the boards all the way up here in the top level of the stands. Now to the near side, number 14. That is San Ben. And it's poke checked away by number six, Stenger. Edina keeps it in. Now behind the boards, backhand pass by 21 Cowan. And now here come the Red Knights. Hope checked off his stick nicely by number nine, Mason West. Now in the slot, gets spinned around, no pen, oh, they're gonna call a penalty there? I'm not sure what that's for. The Adina player got spun around, but I don't know what the call is, but let's see the replay. Comes in, I don't know what that's for. That just seems like a hockey play to me. But number 19 is going in the box, Westberg. I don't know, what do you call this? Interference? I mean, if the Edina player, and I'm not taking sides here, but if he's holding on to the stick of the vanilla player and he goes down, I don't get that. Hooking? All right. All right now, now the Red Knights have their work cut out as the Hornets are on the power play with a two goal lead under 10 minutes to go. Right in the slot, quick shot, McElroy 
scoops that up with his left-handed mitt. That shot. Oh, nice pass there by number 10, Halverson. You gotta love those short passes in hockey because it's easy to try to make the long pass, but those short passes at a high intensity level is very impressive. Face off to McElroy's left, controlled by the Hornets. They're on the power play with a minute and a half to go, 9.40 to go, period number three. I said earlier, next goal wins for sure, next goal wins. If it's not a red night goal, it's gonna be over for them and they are gonna have to get it going here now. Now Stewart on the four check, picked up by the Hornets, number seven. That is Morgan. Morgan plays the puck behind the net. Phillips scoots it around to the near boards, kept in on the far near side by Morgan. Morgan goes down. Puck now to neutralize, shorthanded now is number 17, Koski. Koski, one on one, tries to come right in. And into the boards he goes as goaltender Bobby Klarkowski was ready there though. He's a heck of a goaltender, and they have a great female goaltender for Edina, but Klarkowski is also incredibly good. Now, clock stopped at 8.45, 36 seconds, and here is that corner camera. You got the Bloomington Ice Garden scoreboard in the background. The visuals, you can't beat it. Glad you're with us on Park TV 16 Sports. 3-1 our score, third period, power play for Edina. Face off to Klarkowski's left, even though they're a player down. 36 seconds remaining. Stewart to take the draw to number 10. Stewart versus Halverson. And the face off comes right into Klarkowski. And the competitiveness is starting to show. Oh, pushing and shoving. And I'll guarantee you, these guys all know each other. They don't live that far apart. They all grew up in the same community. These are memories, win or lose, for all these kids. It's gonna last a lifetime. Glad to be here, glad you're with us on Park TV 16 Sports. Now behind the net, number 10 for Edina. That is Halverson to the near boards. Overskated by number six, Stinger, for the Red Knights and back into the zone. 14 seconds remaining on the player advantage. 8.20 to go. Now on the near boards. Picked up by number 11, Flaherty. Flaherty goes down, but kept his composure and controlled the puck, pushed through the near corner. Now on the near side, Maceo Phillips, number five, comes in. Puck goes to the right side along the boards and unable to keep it in was number six for the Red Knights, Mason Stinger. Now they'll regroup on the near side. Both teams at full strength, 7.48 to go. Clock is winding down here for the Red Knights. They need a goal and they need one quick if they wanna make a game of this. Now on the far side, number seven, Morgan. He plays it into the Red Knights zone. Oh, they go down, that's gotta be a penalty. No. No call on that. I could be wrong. Let's see if we got a replay or is there a penalty? Nope, there isn't. Let's see, here's the corner camera. No, he just went down on his own, no penalty. Good no call. That's where visuals don't always look how they look. Face off now to McElroy's left. 7.26 remaining, face off right back to McElroy. Now behind the net. Picked up by number three, Miner. Miner plays it to the neutral ice. Now here come the Red Knights on the far side. That's number 21, Benjamin Morris. Tries to come right in. Klarkowski holds it down. The referee goes down. And pushing and shoving. And it's getting a little rough there. Clock stopped with 7.10 to go. Competitiveness coming out right here. Ref goes down, pushing, shoving. For all we know, they're gonna go to the same college and be best friends, right? Who knows? But clock stop with 7.10 to go. Referees talking it over. I don't know if a penalty was called there. I didn't see the arm go up 
by those guys with the orange armbands. They are the only ones that get to call the penalties. Everyone else is the linesman. No call, but there is some discussion going down there. And this is a huge deal. These kids have been playing hockey their whole lives for this moment. Face-off, controlled by the Hornets. Played along the near boards. Controlled by the Red Knights, now played by number 14 for Edina, San Ben. Now picked up by number 11, Kirshner. Centering pass, quick side of the slot, goes wide right, missed the mark. Got to put it on net if you want to score. Now along the far boards. Now Nevers. Nevers coming across the line on the far side, gets by Phillips, coming in on the slot, right in, and he scores. That was an unbelievable individual effort by number 18, Jackson Nevers. And he's going to seal it, most likely, with that goal. Wow. He got his skate sharpened, didn't he? Because he came in and drilled. Watch him take the edge of that skate. Watch our corner camera right here. Look, he's at the goal line, comes right back in and goes to the far corner and buries that puck. The 18th shot, Edina puts him up four to one with 6.34 to go. Can't deny that individual play by Nevers. Now, quick shot, oh my goodness, by number 18. Michael Rousteau, I think he's got a college scholarship, but Edina's feeling it. They're up four to one with 6.11 to go. Centering pass, picked up by the Hornets, number 22. Warpinski, all the way in the red night zone. And you can start to feel the energy is a little deflated. Some red night fans are starting to depart. But it's not over yet. Now skating into the zone. Number three, Mason Miner coming around. Centering. This is the mark. Back to Miner on the far boards. Quick wrist shot. Gets deflected to the near side. Rebound right on Klarkowski. And now another pushing and shoving. But I got to say, Robbie Klarkowski, the senior goaltender, has played very well tonight. He has faced. 26 shots, and he's just been steady Eddie tonight and deserves a ton of credit. Face off to Klarkowski's right. Face off controlled by the Red Knights. They need a goal and they need one ASAP. Now, along the near boards in the neutral zone. Down goes the Hornet number 12. Lucas Cole, Red Knights. Dinah student section singing the hey, hey, goodbye song. They're feeling it. They've got one more game to get through to get to the finals in St. Paul in two weeks. And we got a whistle and an icing call that stops the clock with 4.58 to go. It's been a great hockey game. Red Knights got the first goal, but it's been all Edina since. I feel both teams have played their best hockey. It's been a really well played game. Face off now to Klarkowski's left. Quick wrist shot from the high slot, and there's Klarkowski. And there, that is just indicative of how well that young man has played. And look how tall he is. <laughs> I hope I'm not being, uh, I think it's incredible. All right, now over to the far side. Played by Dinah into the neutral zone. Picked up by number six, Stenger. To number 11, Kirshner. Now along the far boards. Picked up by number 27, Baird. Baird now brings it almost across the line. Almost does. They wave off offside, but the puck gets quickly shot back into the red night zone and they'll have to regroup again with 426 to go near boards off the almost hit the ref the linesman now edina and 
And Red Knights, nice behind the back pass as he freed up number 11, Kirschner. Kirschner right in, and Klarkowski with another brilliant save. I have a lot of superlatives for him. And Robbie Klarkowski, I think it's the number one star tonight. If this lead holds on, 28 shots. Face off to Klarkowski. He's right, right in front of the goal. Number 23, Geertsen, single handedly took the face off. And that reminds me of a Bobby Smith goal in the 80s against the Calgary Flames, where he took it from the face off almost like that and went back in. If you're old enough to remember Bobby Smith, that was a Bobby Smith goal right off the face off from the same circle at the old Met Center. And don't go away yet. Hornets up, four to two, four away to go. This is high school hockey, it is not over. Face off to the center circle. One of the great things about covering high school sports is these kids, I don't care what sport, they never quit. Unassisted, and that goal is suitable for framing for Geertsen. Four minutes to go. Exactly, face off to McElroy's right. It's still a tall order right for the Red Knights, but not impossible, and that goal's gotta give them energy. And now we'll keep an eye on McElroy. Do you pull the goaltender? What's the philosophy at home? When do you pull the goaltender? With the season on the line, you gotta pull him at some point. Quick wrist shot as the face-off was controlled by the Hornets. Down, no, no, what's the penalty there? I'm not taking sides, I'm not even sure what that was. That was a bang, bang play. Oh my goodness. Wasn't that just an inner, well, there's a poke, right? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, the Benil player had a right to be there. He's there. He, I mean, again, I'm not taking sides. I'm just trying to analyze it. I mean, that was just a bang, bang play. I mean, there was no intention by either player. They both happened to be at that spot, going in opposite directions, ran into each other. I mean, what do you, what's the penalty? What do you call that? And I think the referees are trying to figure it out. And if it takes this much time to figure it out, there is no penalty. <laughs> and the fans are now actually calling for that. Oh, and now the chance. Oh, they're going to put Stewart in the box. I think that's an unfortunate penalty. For what? Oh, both are going in. Wait a minute. No, that's unfair as well, isn't it? I mean, so both players, I guess it makes it more fair. Yeah, well, okay, yep. So Paul, my producer, just said someone said something. And now that's the second Red Knights going in. I am holding my tongue. <laughs> no one cares what I think. It's just unfortunate that the referees, I don't like it when games end on penalties like this. It just takes it out of the kids' hands. Unless it's blatant. All right, I lied. I did say what I felt. <laughs> but nevertheless, so they're talking it over, aren't they? I mean, I mean, if they're the judges, don't each side get to have a representative in there to help advocate for their side? But there they are, but they're not being consulted. They're kind of like the lawyers, right? <laughs> Nevers. And the referees are going to try to figure out what is. Okay, here we go. Meanwhile, the clock is stopped with 3.51 to go. Our score, 4 to 2. They're trying to figure it out. The referee is now explaining it to the captains. Number 27. 
Ryan Baird for the Red Knights and Jackson Nevers, who had the sweetest goal you'll ever see just a few minutes ago. And they're talking, I don't read lips, but I wish I could at this moment. <laughs> All right, well, what are we doing? I'm looking down, I see two red jerseys in the penalty box. Oh, and there's a five minute penalty on the board that Paul Broden, our producer, just pointed out to me. I don't know what that's for. This just, I don't know. I didn't, five minute major? Even in pro hockey, you don't see that unless somebody really takes a shot. And that's it? Five minutes on the board against the Red Knights? I don't know. But we'll listen to the PA announcer. I don't know if you can hear it over the air. I will try to repeat it if I can hear it. Meanwhile, the Hornets are on the power play with a 4-2 lead and there's 3.44 to go. And they're gonna have a player advantage for the here on out as we look at that wrist shot. Boy, that was well placed too. Had McElroy not got his blocker on it. That was in that upper left-hand corner. It's just sad that there's a five minute penalty. I didn't hear what he said. I didn't hear what the five minute major was for. Do you know what it was? For what? Head contact? I've never heard of that penalty. So a patron here just informed me it was head contact. I've never heard of that penalty. You learn something every day. And there were two minute roughing major minors to both teams. So, but the net effect is there are four skaters for the Red Knights, five for Edina. And our score is four to two with three minutes to go in period number three. It's looking like Edina's gonna move on. And they deserve it. They did play better. That was an unfortunate penalty, but it's not determinative of the outcome. Of course not. Now on the near side. Thrown back into the zone by number seven. That, of course, is Caden Morgan. Now all the way back down, icing. And they're gonna let the clock run down and now they touch it and that'll bring the clock to a halt at 2.29. And there's an interesting sort of hushness in the crowd now. It was pretty confusing with that little inter thing with the players and the penalty and still head contact. Never heard of that penalty. Timeout for Mount St. And now Benilde is going to take a timeout. First one by either team. They're clearly not giving up. There is 2.29 to go and there is the bracket. We're there on the lower half. Edina versus Benilde. You're with us on that. And if Edina holds on, they'll move on to play number one YZ right back here at the Bloomington Ice Gardens. And if you want to come watch great high school hockey, you don't have to just watch it on Park TV 16 Sports. I encourage anyone to come and watch this in person. It is an amazing, great experience. So much fun to watch these kids play. Inspiring. We look at the Dyna kids, look at the organization. They all got the white on. I think, what do they call that in college football? White out, Penn State, even the Gophers did one. Dyna's got that quarter section over there by their bench. Red Knights have a ton of fans here as well. 
they were the underdogs coming in. They got goal number one, but it's been a pretty much all Edina after that. Geertsen got a goal a few minutes ago to bring it to four to two, but now the Red Knights are down a player. But they are facing a face-off in the zone, and they have pulled their goalie McElroy, so they got equal skaters aside. They just don't have a goaltender. So let's see what happens right in front. Quick shot taken by 19, Westberg. Blocked in front, shot right on Klarkowski, and he deflects it down and, oh, goes off the post with 2.11 to go. 3.21 to go in the player advantage. If the game isn't already sealed, that would have sealed it, and that came all the way down. And guess what? That's an icing call. So that stops the clock with 2.11 to go. 3.21 to go in the period, but that's really, or in the penalty, but that's really not the important stat here. 2.11 to go. Red Knights got to find a way to get two goals. Tie this up and send it in the overtime. Face off control, they take a shot all the way down and icing is the call. So it's sort of like an arcade game if you're a Hornet, right? You get the ball, the puck in your own zone, you look down, take a shot, icing. That's the other side of it, right? The better play might be just to skate it to neutral ice and kill the clock. Why give the Red Knights a chance? But again, they're up two goals. It's very unlikely. Now on the far side, here comes number 27, Baird in the slot. His shot goes wide left. Kept in on the near side at the point by Gavin Reed. Now on the far side, into the boards. Number 11 for the Hornets, Flaherty. Now on the near side, they got an open net to shoot at. And he takes a shot and he scores it. Number nine, Mason West, the freshman. Puts no doubt in the outcome. 5-2 our score. That goal comes with 1.33 to go. And now the humanity is leaving the Bloomington Ice Gardens. Our score, 5-2. Dinah is going to move on. Face off at center ice. Geertsen, lots of talk down there. Face off control by Dinah's number 12. Here's the official call. Mason West, the assist goes to Caden Morgan. Fifth goal of the night for Edina. On the near board, Geertsen comes out. Number 23, he's a senior. Bittersweet, right? When you're a senior, life's gonna move on, they're gonna move on, and this is their last few moments for all the seniors on the Benil team. They had a great year. Now into the slot, picked up by number eight, A.J. Ulrich. Now at center ice all the way down. They wave off icing. There's under a minute to go. 43 seconds remaining. Edina breaks it out. They're just playing it out now, of course. Poke checked away. Now to the near boards. Geertsen, he gets a poke check from him. Now at near side, played by number 19, Berg. And now behind Karkowski. And again, I give Klarkowski the number one star tonight. I thought Jackson never is the number two star for Edina. And I'll give McElroy a nod. He played very well for the Red Knights. Now behind the boards, three seconds, two, and that's gonna be it. Your final buzzer, Edina. They're not in the state tournament yet, but they move on to the finals next week, right back here at Bloomington Ice Gardens. So for Paul Broden, our producer, Robert, Leah, Cameron on the cameras, bringing you all these great angles. My name is Robert Christensen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.